Hey guys, what's up? My name's Theo. I play middle linebacker for the Hills and Hurricanes. That is in the Netherlands, it's in Europe. Do not play in the United States or Canada. I am playing Euro ball. So, as is today is basically Thanksgiving Day. Um, not really a thing celebrated here, and I know that most of you, as this is going on Friday for you guys, this is, you guys watched many turkey bowls, you went out and played turkey bowls. I don't actually do that here because I don't celebrate <laughs> Thanksgiving. Uh, everyone's gearing up for our next holiday here in the Netherlands um, called Sinterklaas. It's basically their, yeah, it's it's their version of Christmas. It, it's awkward, but that's not what this video is about. So I hope you guys had fun. If you had any memorable experiences with turkey bowls or I know in, I know that currently with my home state of Oregon, that the game is scheduled for the 27th. It's scheduled for Friday. Um, I'm not sure how I'm gonna be able to view that here, but it is late. It is the 125th, which is always a fun time to have the rivalry game, and it will take place in Eugene, so at Austin Stadium. Anyways, so that's fun. Um, do your, another question is, does your state have a rivalry game? I know that there's certain issues with states calling them certain things, um, but you know, that's a different conversation. Anyways, so yeah, if you're new to the channel, every Monday and Friday, I do do football related content. Uh, Claus, we are currently on what's called winter stop, winter break. So our game that we had Sunday was our last one of technically this calendar year. We will not have games until February 27th. And early in January is when we will start having practices again out on the field. Um, holiday season's just easier. Plus it gets cold. I mean, it'll be colder in January, but cold plus holidays, just awkward. And that's just how they do it here. Anyway, so I will still be putting out Monday and Friday content, but it will, like, today's a bit awkward because of real life obligations, but throughout December, I do have sport fields that have recently opened up, so I may go out there and show you guys some stuff. There's a box of like football and cones and ladders and stuff, and I can go through a bit of refresher stuff. Um, and yeah, uh, do not know if I'll be getting any gear from the States. Uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt since the last time I ordered stuff, rules kind of screwed things up. So anyways, so, but anyways, on Fridays, the first, for, on Fridays, the first things I do is I go through comments from previous football related content um, from all of my videos that are football related. Um, uh, these are becoming less and less. So this will be like one or two comments. Um, next Friday, if you guys are commenting about your turkey bowls, we'll talk about those. Um, again, I don't really play it here. Uh, it's awkward. I asked, any, I asked some guys and they're like, a turkey bowl? Like, because they think turkey is in the country, not turkey is the bird. <laughs> I'm like, no, not the Istanbul Rams. Okay, so now moving into comments. Let's go back about a week. Uh, James Baker says he played hockey growing up and putting on gear was his best part. That was on the original football uniform suit up from 2016. Uh, I agree with that. You know, it means you're getting your battle armor on. Ice hockey, American football, just as geared up as, I mean, I think in some fashions hockey may be a bit more geared because they need, they have more leg padding, like a whole like wrap around the legs, whereas we just put thighs and knees and, you know, small things on. Uh, Ashley Van Cleve on that same video says, why are there so many parts to it? Uh, this is how the sport goes. Ice hockey is the same is what I commented back. I don't, I don't know how to read into that comment very well. I don't know what she means by that. Why are there so many parts? Because I need to put it all together. <laughs> you know, it's just what it is. I mean, there's helmet, thigh pads, knee pads, girdle, uh, jersey, shoulder pads, back plate, gloves, like under gear, like what? <laughs> of course, there's a lot of parts. There's a lot of parts to, you know, dressing for a wedding. You, you know, for a guy, you've got like your bow tie, your corsage, your jacket, your vest, your cummerbund, your pants, your socks, your shoes. Like, <laughs> what, what are you getting dressed by? <laughs> you know, I know currently I'm wearing socks, shoes, pants, underwear, and a shirt. And then my sport watch. 
So that's like, why are there so many parts to me just vlogging in my house? I don't know. Uh, on the game day vlog, Chris Crable says, nice taking the train to the game. Yep. I took a train all the way from Amsterdam to a city called Groningen, and uh, that was relaxing after a fashion. There was not a lot of people on the train, and it just, just goes from Amsterdam, Almere, Lelystad, Assen, or Spola, then Assen, then Groningen. It took us like two hours, six minutes. Um, and then we caught the bus, and we did the game. Uh, CJ. Uh, MG Squad 1.0 says, relatable to your losing your knee pads. Yes, on the very first suit up, I didn't have all my crap together. So my knee pads were just lying around. In fact, I think they're in my back. They're not in my backpack. They're right here. <laughs> these are not the exact same knee pads. These are the ones I use now. Um, I used I used to have knee pads, then I got a seven piece girdle, um, but for some reason the ones that I get here aren't as good a quality. So I got myself a five piece girdle, which is much more common to get. Uh, but yeah, it's relatable. You lose your knee pads all the time. I, it's, it's why I like the seven pad girdle that I had many years ago. Uh, CJ Banks Boy says, can you give me football equipment? No. <laughs> I, I don't really understand the question sometimes because while the question is very direct, it seems like why would you think that's a thing? Like they don't know where I live, they don't know who I am, and it's just a blanket, can you give me football gear? I mean, I kind of wish, when did the comment get typed in and hit enter, submitted during the video, yada yada, or something. But I, I can't, I just don't give people football gear. I mean, if they're on the team, like I gave one of my old girdles that didn't really fit to one of our youth players. And I was like, here, he, he liked it a lot. And I was like, dude, it, it just doesn't fit me. <laughs> uh, the band is way too tight for my waist, but everything else fits fine. But he's a youth player. He's, these are linemen, you know, rusher sort of thing. Is we play seven, six, seven man, something like that. So yeah, he's, yeah, he has that girdle and he was like, he felt it was really cool. But that's like, all I'll do is I'll give it to fellow teammates and stuff, but not, not random people on the internet. Uh, Alan Ross says Colin Hall is right because he didn't respond in line to Colin Hall, but it's the pinned comment on the original suit video. Guy in Germany commented that in Kaiserlautern, Germany, as a coaching opportunity, uh, the Pikes American Football Kaiserlautern are looking to expand their coaching staff for the 2022 season. Uh, desperately looking for a running back and defensive back coach. So if you happen to be in Germany and you have coaching experience with running back or defensive back, especially in southwest Germany, you can go coach for the Pikes football in Kaiserlautern. It, uh, there's a massive military base down there um, for the United States, so it might help if you happen to know people that are also in that area. On the Zenith versus sh shoulder pads, Compare contrast video that I did. Uh, how tall are you? I'm 181 centimeters or 5 foot 11. And that's referencing when I was comparing my old shoulder pads to these new ones. Well, it does say the shoulder width right there, 18 to 19 inches. Um, sometimes people have like, it, your shoulder's not against your height sort of thing. So, yeah. How tall are you? Again, that's, I'm, Average height for the Netherlands. Uh, Matt M, this is awesome, man. Looks amazing. I had a lot of comments on the original suit up video. Uh, Peter Anger says, what position do you play? Currently middle linebacker. In that video, I was a cornerback. And yeah, it wasn't good. <laughs> so, yeah, I went over to linebacker. Uh, and then seven hours ago, I typed up a large response to this one. Man, people think you're a dumb, but they're so wrong. I love your channel. It's from Minnie Olson. Um, gave a little thumbs up and a heart on that one. I did actually like make a very large response and says it's the internet. Uh, people trash on internet comments, especially YouTube comments because of a couple things. Um, they want to have that bully mentality where if they feel like they're trash, but they don't want to admit it. So in order to feel better about their status, they make others feel less. It's it's kicking down, kicking sideways almost. 
or they appear, it appears that someone is above them. So if they can tear them down, they become above them, even though they haven't changed location. And it, it doesn't work as well as you think it does. Um, it doesn't work at all. Um, the other, uh, the other reason is the fact that in that video, I was not in the prime masculine men's body shape. I had a little bit of a belly like I do now because I'm a normal human being. <laughs> um, I don't do everything in my power to keep myself as the lowest of body fat possible. I live in cold climates. <laughs> so that's that one that they see that, you know, I'll show you guys. I have a little bit of belly in that video and just like I have one now and people are like, oh, look at that flabby belly. He doesn't actually, he's not good and fit. I'm like, how are, how are you so obsessed with the male figure? What, why does, like, there's, there's a thing I've heard called the male gaze and the female gaze and the female gaze is never a super veiny, flexy arm muscle pump Chris Hemsworth. That's, that's for the guys to look at. And so I don't do that in that video so obviously I'm out of shape and I'm a bad player. So yeah, that, that's pretty much that one. Also, many of them don't realize that I'm currently a linebacker and probably should have been from the beginning rather than a cornerback. Or some reason they think that because my number was 24 back then, I was the quintessential running back but still need abs of steel. So next for these videos on Friday, we do news and we're gonna talk about how midway through the season has gone with, you know, the AFBN. So in our last game, we've actually lost our last two games, one against Leilistad and one against Groninga. Um, our quarterback went down with an injury, so we were bringing up a new quarterback and some new situation stuff that I understand during Groninga. And yeah, things are just awkward and weird with timing, uh, with people having uh, symptoms and staying out of practices or needing to quarantine because somebody in their workplace or their living situation got tested positive, but then everyone else tested negative and all that stuff. People are not coming to practice as regularly as one should, but we have a health situation still going on in these countries. So things are slow going. Um, and when you have receivers not at games or not coming to practices because of various ones, I mean, to be fair, you should have enough, you sh if you have a large team, all the receivers and all the quarterbacks and all the running backs and the line should know, but we don't have a very large team, so when you have six offensive linemen, part of your offensive line is also playing D-line. And not everyone is showing up to practice because of various reasons of extended work schedules or Lord knows whatever, because we're not very, we're not professional. This isn't our job. Things are awkward. So we have two sides of the air divisi. Um, there's pool A and pool B. Uh, pool A is currently led by Arnhem, which is three wins, one loss and Crusaders are two and zero. I'm not exactly sure why they're two. I thought they should have had three, but not necessarily sure where that other game went. Pa the Amsterdam Panthers are one win, one loss. I do know why two of their games were knocked out because they didn't secure a field last minute <laughs> for their first game against us. And then the ref shortage, which is an alternate issue, canceled their game, their second game. So they won one and lost their next one. So they're 50-50. And then Groninga has won one game against us and then lost two games because they lost one against, they, yeah. they played four games, won one, lost two, and then they forfeited one because that was their very first game. Not sure why. In uh, Pool B, uh, the Trojans have played why does it say they've played four games? Two wins, one loss, no forfeit. Lelystad is two, two, and zero. Flavo is one, two, and zero. And Flavo has won that game because they got forfeited against. <laughs> so 
Yeah. Anyways, and then Hilversum for us is three games, one, and then two. And no forfeit, because we haven't, we have yet to play the Panthers from the very first one. That will be next March. So that's all fun and games. However, when it comes down to point differences throughout the various games, we're only at minus seven. Um, Leilishtad is on this list, uh, minus 51. Because I think they got romped. They they basically the Hulk to Loki against the against Crusaders. <laughs> they just got raffle stomped. <laughs> Puny God sort of thing. I'm hoping that when we go against Crew on the 27th of February, that we are not going to get raffle stomped so badly. Our defense is very strong, um, and Leilishtad only beat us by two by one point, because in that game. At the beginning of this month, it was, uh, we got a touchdown and a point after. They got a touchdown and no point after, but they also got a safety. So, fun times. Um, despite the fact that we are one to two, we still have seven games coming up in 2022. This is not a one and done season. <laughs> Especially considering, you know, we have two pools of four we can easily get into slot one. Even though, the, you know, we just need to, you know, beat the beat Flavo, beat Lely Shot again, and then beat Trojans. That's, that's it. <laughs> we just need to keep kicking the crap out of our pool and then we will head on towards the playoffs and the, and then on to the Tulip Bowl. Uh, for the Erste Divisi, we have, they have one pool. That's our next division down. I know Erste, if you look it up, is first division. In our league, many years ago, there actually was three. So there's Air Divisi, first division, second division. Just think of many places in Europe deal with a zero floor or a prime floor is what I call it in my head. So there's the prime division, the first division, which so it's just one, two, three. It's just how they number them weird. So like in my last apartment, I lived in I lived on the fourth floor. Well, I currently live on the fourth floor. It's a different apartment though, but I'm technically on the fifth floor. Oh, so yeah, they count. I, I, different video. So currently with their seven teams they have is Leiden and Utrecht are tied, but Leiden is winning because they are more points ahead. Uh, they are ahead 166. Uh, Utrecht is only 57. Uh, Den Haag Raiders are um, two and one, 67 points ahead. And the Krakens, which is a combi team, and are also two and one. The Parrots, combi team, uh, between the Pirates and the Eagles. And then the Maastricht Wildcats and the West Frisian Outlaws are just getting stomped <laughs> by that league. They are currently zero and four, both of them, and Maastricht Wildcats are minus 122, and the West Frisian Outlaws are minus 205. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's how that's going. And then to give an update on our junior tackle, there is a cadet league, but I'm not sure, that's a seven v seven. Jun Jun Juniorin is a uh, 5v5. So our boys are Hilversum Hurricanes, two wins, one loss, and we're in fourth place. The Panthers, the Amsterdam Panthers youth tackle is kind of a dominating force in Benelux. So yes, sorry about that flicker back there. Um, the sun is hitting people's doors and it reflects back in here because the sun is very low in the sky um that's pretty much that for that stuff there's not much news um stay tuned i will talk about more stuff we'll do comments and news and that'll involve any corona matrechlin if anything changes like if they go oh no we're gonna go back into just horrible lockdown no more sports until march blah 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 whatever i'll let you guys know when that stuff happens um, I think next week I might do a Christmas gifts because that will be the 2nd of December and that'll give a lot of people good ideas. 
and it'll probably be like Christmas gifts you can get for on the cheap for linebackers. So everyone's like, oh yeah, ch cheap gifts for linemen, cheap gifts, or you know, good gifts for linemen, good gifts for this, but nobody does linebackers. Linebackers don't get enough love on in the football YouTube community. It's always linemen, quarterbacks, and skill players. I might throw some running back stuff in there too. But yeah. Anyways, I will chat with you guys on uh, the Sunday video. Um, that's probably going to be educational. I'm probably going to whip out the whiteboard and we'll see what's going on there.